Hi guys, Rose here about The Cackling Moon. We're going to be doing a mini reading for a client and today's mini reading is all about um, being self-sufficient and providing. So my client um, is asking a question about, um, she's been in school and she's, you know, working really hard um, and she just wants to know if she's ever gonna be able to provide and kind of help, assist, or even, um, give back to her family, especially her husband, um, for all of <clears throat> the times that he's been taking the, the, the bulk of the finances. Um, she's, you know, when she finishes school and is able to get the job and, and be the provider basically. So she just wants to know if she's ever going to be in that position to do that. Um, as you know, I can understand that if you feel like you're not giving your full 100% or it's not even 50-50 with you and your spouse that it can be a little bit um, frustrating to feel like it's not like you're not putting enough effort but also my love don't forget that you are a mother and you take care of the children you put food on the table you you know you cook the meals you're raising the kids you are doing a lot so don't ever downsize yourself don't ever like make yourself feel like you're not doing enough for the relationship or with your spouse because you really are um and he should be recognizing that and i'm sure he does he sees you as a really good mother and um that you do help out and you are you are pulling your weight it's just in different ways it may not be because of money it may be more so because you are being a mother and so i just wanted to put that out there because i feel like when i was reading your your message i was like no but she does do a lot and so it may not look the same because it's not money but it still is okay <laughs> I love it. So I feel like the Oracle already answered your question. We got prosperity. Prosperity begins and we got fulfillment of wishes, which is definitely saying like there will be a fulfillment of wishes with you being able to provide, with you being able to bring abundance to your family in your own way. You already are, but if you're talking about it in terms of money, finances, then yes, it will happen. Um, we got full and, and world energy here. So this is showing me a lot of new beginnings. It's a one. We have a one here. So a lot of new beginnings, a reset. Graduation. There will be a graduation. There will be, you know, a reset in that cycle. This is at the core. What's happening off to the end, off to the side. Let's see. Okay. So what I'm seeing off to the side is more of the um, the weaker parts, okay? So the weaker parts of your relationship, the weaker parts of the situation that we're reading about. Um, we have a seven of wands. So there's a lot of little obstacles. Maybe these are random little life events that happen that causes you guys to have to put more money into situations that you weren't planning for. So this could be like needing new tires for the car or something breaking in the house or um, one of the kids gets sick or breaks their arm or <laughs> whatever. Something that requires a lot of money to be put into it when you weren't planning for it. Um, this on the other end, we have a page of wand, which is how you actually kind of see yourself pages are very young like students and they are um inexperienced and i feel like you you really discredit yourself you make yourself seem a lot less than what you actually are you do have a lot of experience and you are very um creative and whatnot so i do feel like you need to change that changing the way that you observe yourself and seeing yourself more as a queen than a page okay um I feel like with we have communication and storytelling so communication and storytelling to me is like maybe you know working on the way that you communicate with your husband more maybe when things kind of start going into talking I feel like storytelling is like talking of the future that you guys have a lot of talks about well when I'm able to do this we could do this and my husband and I are very guilty of doing that same thing 
but also communicate as if you already have that. That really like changes your perspective when you're already thinking like we already have the stuff that we want. Um, conflict with the base chakra or the root chakra. Conflict with foundation. Either um, you're feeling like you're not able to put in to, to help ground you guys. Your earth, your soil for nutrients, your soil is for your foundation. It's for your home. So I do feel like there's conflict in that. Um, a lot of the arguments may stem from the household stuff. Paying for the house, the mortgage, the issues with the house, or whatever. Some stuff like that pops up. So I feel like that's where a lot of these arguments are coming from. Um, and I just want to say, like, you do a lot in the home life. So conflict in the home life is a major one that I'm seeing happening here. But also with the base chakra, it's kind of showing that you are much more grounded and much more solid and firm in your foundation than you give yourself credit for. So I do feel like you're a lot more harder on yourself than you need to. Um, I think you need to kind of um, give yourself that benefit of the doubt. Like you do a lot, <laughs> especially as being a mother and you're raising your kids. Like you do a lot. So if you think that there's no value in doing that and being the mother and raising the kids and you're absolutely wrong um, there is value there so you have to remember that you have that so that you can um, understand that it's not just about the money that you're bringing in it's more so about the way that you're raising your children and all of that effort and work that you're putting into that so I just want to pull more on the future because we like we said we pulled the world which is definitely showing graduation it's showing completion of school <laughs> and what you're going to be capable of I love it I love how the devil came up because it's like breaking your chains free I see it as in the reversed you're breaking your chains free you're able to break free from your own um, your own prison your own form of thinking that you're not good enough or that you're stuck um, we have magician we have two of pentacle and we have so there will be like um opportunities you're going to be able to decide from you're going to be successful oh there's one hiding there we have the page of swords um so that you will be successful you will be um given a job opportunity magician is like you're going to be creating it okay i feel like this one was hiding there was like a reminder don't buy off more than you can chew victory and success spiritual union so definitely I feel like if the two of you are struggling right now in your foundation which is the foundation of your home life or your marriage once you graduate and get what it is that you are, you want or what you need there will be a union there will be success so it's kind of like bringing the two of you together more so in that aspect so you all you guys will um, will grow from that so don't worry so much over the little things, love. Like, I feel like you're going to get, you're going to be okay. Things are going to get better. Um, you have that to look forward to, for sure. So, I think the main, the main message here is don't be so hard on yourself. Um, and understand that things take time. And that, yes, you will be able to provide in the way that you want to. But also, keep in mind that you already are doing that we have opportunity beautiful so let that be um and i like that the bird is actually in a shadow because the shadow kind of says that it's not yet come into fruition but it is it's on its way um and the opportunity will be there where you will be able to open that door and walk through it so keep that in mind be excited um and i look forward to your family <laughs> I love it. So I guess like what is underneath all of that is don't forget about the main reason why you're doing what you're doing is for family. So that's a beautiful little message there for you. So thank you um, for allowing me to read for you and anyone who's watching. This is the mini reading. Click the link below if you're interested and I will see you guys soon. Bye my loves.